Eight members of a national missing child search and rescue team are in Kansas City looking for Lisa, and they're bringing police more than just support. Larry Seaver joins us live from the police command center with this story. Well, Krista, behind me is that command center, and tonight all is quiet here as police gear down for the evening and prepare for another search tomorrow morning. No update provided. Of course, at this point, they have still not located Lisa Irwin, but a boost for police today coming from a group of retired law enforcement officers, all here delivering something money can't buy. Retired Leewood Detective Craig Hill can't let go. For 26 years, he's been teaching seminars to parents and police. For 26 years, he's had one mission, something shared with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. If we can protect one child, I think that we've accomplished that mission. Tonight, finding Lisa Irwin is their new goal. This 10-month-old baby disappeared from a crib in her parents' Kansas City North home. Nearly 48 hours later, police canines, officers on ATVs, and on foot are still searching. The first thing that came to mind was the Team Adam. Have we deployed someone? Are they en route? Team Adam is a missing child rapid response team, and they are here in Kansas City helping police. Free of charge, the team of retired federal, state, and local officers brings manpower search and rescue gear, investigative resources, forensic techniques and experts, and computers. But they also bring something perhaps more valuable, something money can't buy, something Hill earned 26 years ago. I saw the abduction of a 10-year-old girl walking in the Brookside area by an individual who lured her to the car by asking directions. I saw that he took her out. I saw what he did to her, and thank God, uh, she survived the attack. It made finding missing children a lifelong mission. Hill says is true for every member of Team Adam who don't plan to leave until someone finds Lisa Irwin. And here at the command post, police will return tomorrow morning. Of course, this is where they coordinate all those search efforts. Not sure exactly what area they will be searching in the morning, but we will be here and bring you the latest information. But police are still asking people to know anything about Lisa Irwin to call their tips hotline. For now, we're live in Kansas City. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.